sewing lookbook designer winter coat that's coming up. Hello fashion sewer, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV inspiring you to fashion sew. If you haven't already done so, consider subscribing and let's get started. showing you one of my latest makes which is a gorgeous designer coat made and designed and patterned by me so in other words I've designed it I drafted a sewing pattern and I've also made it up so I've sewn it together I've constructed the garment and I am in love with this coat it is gorgeous now some time ago I did a video on a fabric haul my latest fabric haul and on it was this gorgeous fabric and so I talked through the fabric in that video what I'll do is I'll put a link to that video below and I'll also put a link to that video where you see this eye here so you can um, go and see the types of fabrics that I'm making as part of this collection of this gorgeous coat so here's my little sketch that I did and it is um, a stray silhouette which is more or less in keeping with my body shape, my body type. And um, I've changed it up a little bit because I wasn't sure about the pockets, whether I was going to go for a patch pocket or a welt pocket. And also whether I was going to have buttons. And I decided not to go ahead with the buttons. So on my little design sheet, I've got that information. So, um, yeah. So that is what the design was going to, the coat was going to more or less look like. The reason why you can see a little squiggle there that's supposed to be a bag. So I knew I was going to make a bag with this coat because of the fabric that I had. I didn't want any access fabric because, um, yeah, it's one of the things that happens when you are making clothes for yourself. You tend to buy maybe a little bit more fabric than you actually need. So yeah, I ended up making a gorgeous bag that goes with it too. So what I'm going to do is just show you uh, my coat and then I'll also show you my gorgeous handbag which I've made, I'm so proud of. Um, some of the construction ideas um, that are in my bag which I've talked about a little bit um, later once I've talked about my coat. So I'll show you a little bit about my coat and why I love it so much. And I've also done a little video um, of me styling the coat so there's a couple of different ways you can actually wear my gorgeous designer coat so let me just show you some of the techniques that are in this coat so here we have my coat and the first thing i'm going to be showing you is the patch pocket now um this is a pocket that is hand sewn Basic because I didn't want any top stitching to be on the front of the garment. So it was worth hand sewing this patch pocket. And I've also haven't put the opening to the top of the pocket. So um, because I wanted it to be a much more relaxed look to the coat and how I'm going to wear it. So I put the opening to the side and it, it really works well. When you see the video of me modelling it, um, you can see out with ease, you can put your hands in and they just relax around, you know, your waist level, your hip level. So I do like that rather than being at the top where it's in front. So that is great. Um, it, it is, it has two, it's a two piece sleeve. So we've got a seam going here and also a seam on the other side, which I love. Um, you tend to get a better fit when it's a two-piece sleeve in regards to a one-piece sleeve. And they also have side slits at the side. Oh, the slits are amazing. They just add another dimension to the coat. So I've got these beautiful side slits on either side. And the inspiration came from a duster coat kind of inspiration. Duster coats traditionally have a slit down the back. 
um, but like I said, it was inspired by a duster coat. So if that's going to do this coat again, which is more than likely will be the case, I'll definitely bring the slit a little higher and see how that looks. Because I do like it when I was fitting the garment. It was a case of, hmm, if you put this slit a little bit higher, you know, it creates a different look. Um, so I definitely see myself making another garment with the slits a little bit higher and being experimental. Now there's also a bust dart as well, that like runs here. And it's, it's, it's a soft tailored coat and it's slightly oversized. Um, which is what I was looking for and um, the bust starting needs to be there because you don't want that because it's quite a bulky fabric you don't want that extra bulk under the armpit so yeah it's got a nice um, bust start there and also the coat it's not edge to edge because I was in two minds about whether or not I was going to put buttons on this or not um, and um, I just thought it was just overpowering the bottom because the coat itself is beautiful in its shape and also the fabric and the colour I didn't want it to take away from that so I decided not to have my buttons on there but you never know if it makes coat again I probably would put buttons on there and um, depending on the fabric and um, because sometimes fabric talks to you seriously they do well they talk to me anyway and it's like um, a situation like really you're gonna put that on me and it was like, okay, maybe not. So yeah, I decided against that and it was the right decision to make. So even though I don't have any fastenings on the coat itself, how I fasten this is with a tie belt and also I've got this beautiful narrow leather belt with a gold buckle that looks beautiful on this coat and I'll always wear it with this coat. So yeah, and I've also lined the coat gorgeous lining it's it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so there we have the vent opening and uh, at the corners it is a mitered corner as well so um, parts most of it is there's probably about 50 50 where it's the scene shot the scene machine sewn and also hand sewn because um, that has uh, levels of fragrance chip that will make sure this coat will last me for years. So yeah, very proud of my coat, my designer coat. So moving on for my coat is my bag. Oh, careful. Put this on. Okay, nicely over there. My designer coat, which is gorgeous. So here I have my designer bag, my designer handbag, and it's gorgeous. So this is the same fabric as my coat. It has patched pockets on the front, which is slightly different construction for my coat because um, it goes into the seams and it's gorgeous. And I've got it lined and I've got black handles which is an amazing contrast to the fabric because there is a fleck of black within the fabric itself in the weave of the fabric and it definitely picks it up and the bag really shows it off to its best advantage. So the basket is of a basket kind of shaping to it which is gorgeous. So this is the front and this is the back as you can see with the yeah it's 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 slightly oversized it has a snap fastening there oh and i've also got my <laughs> posting stitch still in the lining as well and you've probably seen there now a little peak that is the belt the tie belt so it has black lining inside and there's my tie belt um which you will see shortly in the video of me styling this coat and just gorgeous black lining and I've got to remember to <laughs> remove my basting stitch but as you can see it's um yeah it's a lovely basket shaping to it and it's it's gorgeous and it's amazing it sets my coat off to a tee the coat sets the bag off to um to a tee paired together it's gorgeous so
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video of me styling my coat and looking, uh, I'm feeling, looking and feeling amazing, which you should do with any sewing project, any garment that you make, it should make you feel amazing. And that coat and bag, oh, I can't wait to take it out, take her out and wear her and show her off. And yeah, um, great fit. It's always important to make sure that you fit as you sew because you will find that you will change your design. And if you feel as though you need to change it, you change it for a reason, for a better fit, and um, for better constructions in order to make sure that it looks beautiful on your body shape. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Do remember to visit my community page, a community feature, because I will be uploading any projects that I sew on that page first before I do it on any other social media platform. So do visit that. I want to make sure it becomes very interactive within the FSB TV community. And I'll be sharing lots of information behind the scenes um, as I go through that community page. So it's a new new-ish feature to YouTube creators. So once you've done that, do subscribe because I do believe you get notifications when I upload information on the community tab and also receiving notifications of videos as part of the channel, part of the YouTube channel. Um, you'll also get information there. So those are two things I'd highly recommend you to do. I uh, hope you enjoyed the fact that I'm sharing the techniques that I'm doing in my own zone projects in order to help you and inspire you. Don't forget to subscribe Put your comments in the comment box below. Um, do also check out this eye here where I'll put some info cards of videos as regards to the fabric and any other videos that may be of help. So um, that's it. So um, and I will see you next time.